rank to that? This is my regalia. Military surplus. It's Tiffany and Kyle. Like bring spring in. I appreciate it. Lucky <laughs> number to be a sign. So something that I do is I give people a two dollar bill for having a nice style. What up, y'all? It's a frigid day in New York City, and I'm just out here to give you guys a quick episode. See what people are wearing. What do you rank today? Uh, so this is Tiffany and Co. It was gifted by a friend. This is. I think Uniqlo, like last year. Brandy Melville, um, Adidas. These were for my grandma. <laughs> Loving the look today. Thank you. Who's your biggest style inspiration? That's a good question. My friends, seeing people around the city. What do you do for a job? Uh, I'm in advertising. My goal this year is to cultivate. Cultivate? Yeah, that was my word for the year. Okay. I'm actually moving to Austin, Texas at the end of the month. What's going on in Austin? Another job. I've only been once, but I'm a chapter, taking a risk. Mm -hmm. so fun. That's great, I love that. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Cheers. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, poor Joy. What are you wearing today? Um, entire studio's hoodie. That's my girlfriend's scarf, I don't know. It's my key holder. It's the tight in place. <laughs> Pants from Zara. And then Birkenstocks. Nice. Some Amazon glasses that look like Cartier's. Loving your pops of pastel here. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm trying to bring spring in, you know? <laughs> kind of usher spring in. It's getting warm, but it's still cold, so I got the base layers underneath. And in my hand, a bag of caramelized nuts <laughs> for a snack. There you go. What's your name? I'm John. Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carl. Nice to meet you. Who's your biggest style inspiration? I'd say my mom. My mom uses very bold colors to bring stuff in, and she dresses for her silhouette rather than what's in fashion. And I take a lot of inspiration from her. My sister has pretty good styles, so she dresses very youthful, and I try and bring that youthful energy into what I'm wearing. I'm a travel photographer. I'm also a director. I direct commercials, and I'm a creator like yourself as well. What is your biggest goal? Uh, well, I turned 30 in two days, so my biggest goal this year is to take it easy, be a little bit more decisive with the moments that I exert myself in rather than trying to grind and grind it out, you know? Because it's so, so easy to fall into that culture of grind culture. Just like, oh, I get stuff in, get more, you know. I'd rather be decisive and be more contemplative with the stuff that I'm exerting. Hopefully, this will help me bring stuff in. I'm journaling more, I'm doing all this stuff, all the meditating, all that awesome. stuff. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. No doubt. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, have a nice day. You too. What are you wearing today? Um, I have on a vintage leather jacket. We'll take a bag. Diesel jeans, Birkenstocks, um, Tom Ford, and then just vintage on my eye jewelry. How big your hat? <laughs> it's vintage as well. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this leather jacket. Yeah, like a, it's kind of like a puffer bomber, like leather jacket. I haven't seen anything like it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I thrifted it. What's your biggest style inspiration? Um, honestly. I kind of just look on Pinterest like every day at different outfits and I kind of just piece things together. Um, I'm a buyer, a fashion buyer. What is your biggest goal? I actually want to have my own vintage shop. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. <laughs> it's yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Um, the pants are a uh, reproduction, a, a Gap hoodie, and then a uh, leather coat that I got from Beacon's Closet a million years ago. Vivian Westwood bag beat up. And a hat is also vintage reproduction. Love on the eclectic mix here. Thank you. Do you have style inspiration? Um, I really like history. I really like Vivian Westwood, British, like, I don't know, but I kind of just do whatever feels right. For sure. And what do you do for a job? I work at Vivian Westwood. What is your biggest goal? I want to work on my self-confidence. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think something like this helped, right? It does, yeah, but this is my regalia. It's what I use to cover up the lack of. <laughs> well, I think you're doing great today. Oh, we're? Cool. I, I have a few of these. Thank you. Take care, man. All right, you too. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Norma Kamali coat. It's <laughs> called a uh, sleeping bag coat. What would you say your biggest style inspiration is? Um, I guess color. I would say because um, that gets me in a better mood. What is your biggest goal? Uh, to do one proper pull up <laughs> in a gym. Yeah, I'm dreaming to get a proper pull up without any help, and so far I'm doing like 50% of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice goal. Yeah, it's very easy to picture. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wow, $2 bill, is it exist? Uh, they do exist, but they're rare. <gasps> wow, okay. 
<laughs> what's your uh, This is from, uh, it's like military surplus, it's like 40 bucks. Just got this at Goodwill, it's like eight bucks. This is also military surplus, it's like, and I think this is H&M. <laughs> yeah. How about the shades? Uh, ten dollars. Who's your biggest style inspiration? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like anime characters, probably. Nice. Yeah. What do you do for a job? Uh, I write. What is your biggest goal? Finish this book. Finish the book you're writing? Yeah, everything else doesn't really matter that much. I love that. Oh, they don't even make these anymore. Starling, welcome to you on this video visit to New York City. What are you wearing today? I am wearing a vintage biker leather. Um, this is like the actual, like, real biker biker leather. So this is very <laughs> special to me. That's what I noticed. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like super heavy and it's warm. So that's why I'm able to wear it open, which is like badass. But this is like, this is like an easy, good, like, little moment still I got. And then I have on R13 boyfriend jeans. And then I have on Saint Laurent. These are my good walkers. <laughs> Vintage Prada. And Gucci frames. And this is a regular beanie hat. <laughs> awesome, I love the fit today. Thank you. Who's your biggest style inspiration? I would say Rihanna. I'm a freelance contractor. Okay. But I'm also getting into content creating again as well. So yeah, this has to be a sign. To get more focus on my creative, being more free, but also making money doing it. Being a freelance contractor here is great, but it's only like for corporate America, which I don't want to stay in anymore. I come here, my life shifts, and then I start seeing things I'm getting. So I feel like a student here. Transferring into this whole new version of myself as well, which is refreshing. So you're learning and you're watching the masters and how they play. Even like before I got in corporate, I didn't know business as an artist. And I think that's what a lot of artists lack. Corporate teaches you, you can't take nothing personal because everybody's out for their best interest. I'm grateful because now I can learn how to read contracts and things like that. So something that I do is I give people a $2 bill for having a nice style. You're that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I see one of your videos oh, no before. <laughs> I have, oh, this is so cool. This is luck to me now. I'm wearing mostly thrifted stuff. I, these are from like 2003. Um, I thrifted these. I got this on Depop like three years ago. Um, I love the shoulder pads. <laughs> and I got this hoodie, Fiori, down the street. I was in class, comfy. What do you study? Um, I do critical theory and like sociology stuff. Interesting. Super cool. Yeah. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, I think it's really fun to like choose a vibe and go for it and try to create a totally different vibe every single day. Biggest goal for the new year? I'm trying to graduate <laughs> in like four months. Aside from that, I think this is a great city and I want to keep meeting new wonderful people like you. I love that. Thank you. Oh my god. It's so nice to meet you. What are you wearing today? Uh, an overcoat, some corduroys, and some uh, Jordan, and a wool scarf. The brand of the coat, um, J. Crew actually. And then like a flight jacket underneath. Nice. Yeah, just to keep warm. I like how you paired all these colors together today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I'll see somebody on the street with something, and it'll remind me to go to my closet and look for something that I that I haven't worn in maybe years, to be honest. I work at a little workwear company called OK Uniform downtown. Nothing is above $100. We sell workwear for the common man. Chef wear as well, tuxedo apparel, a bit of everything, but, you know, a, a workwear store at its core. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Alrighty, thank you. Take care. It's about to rain. One more interview. And if you've been enjoying so far, make sure to throw a like and comment your favorite outfit. What are you wearing today? Um, I am wearing this coat from Zara like four years ago. Some Gucci slides, um, some denim from Urban, and um, this jewelry is from this brand called Mason Fufu, I believe. I maybe said that wrong. And then this is from Bonnie and Clyde. So cool. Thanks. And I love the 222 you got going Thank on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lucky numbers. I'm wearing a vintage jacket from a brand I cannot remember. And it comes with this really cool fur kind of hood. Very into it. We have 
a Brandy Melville top under with acne jeans, thrifted belt, acne boots. Bag is vintage Dior. Sunnies are vintage Dolce & Gabbana. Earrings are Zara. And that's it. Killed it today. Thank you. Who is your biggest style inspiration? Ooh, myself. <laughs> How about you? Um, whew, my mom. We both yeah. do social media. I do style and that's it. I do fashion and beauty. My biggest goal for the year is probably to continue to be happy, travel, and eat good food. <laughs> so, I think mine is mostly the same as hers. We were talking about this earlier today. Biggest goal is to grow more meaningful connections and just be happy. That's it. Love that. I give people a two dollar bill for having a nice style. Oh, oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh my <laughs> god. You. I it's, appreciate that's that. That's a lucky dollar no, too. It's two and dollars. I have the two two two. Oh my god. Wait, you have to take a picture of that. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Make sure to check out one of these other videos if you enjoyed this one. I love you so much. And until next time, peace.